Hello folks, my name is Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to yet another Comnet Protocols video. Today we are going to talk about the Ethernet packet format, the layer 1 of the Aussie model. Note that our source for this video is the IEEE 802.3 standard where the internal structure of an Ethernet packet is specified. In our previous video we have seen the fields of an Ethernet frame, where an Ethernet frame starts first with the MAC header, then the MAC payload and padding if required, and it ends with the MAC footer. In this video we are going to zoom out and talk about the Ethernet packet format, which is the layer 1 of the Aussie model. So this figure here shows the complete Ethernet packet structure where the maximum length is 1526 bytes and minimum 72 bytes. An Ethernet packet starts first with the physical layer header and it ends with the MAC footer of the Ethernet frame. Finally, between subsequent Ethernet packets, there is an idle time that is called interpacket gap or IPG. In the following, we are going to analyze the Ethernet packet format field by field, and more specifically, today we will focus on the layer 1 fields, the preamble, and the start frame delimiter or SFD fields. Now, an Ethernet packet starts with a 7-byte preamble. This field contains a preamble of 56-bit pattern, where the values alternate between 1 and 0, allowing thus the receiving device to synchronize its clock at the bit level with the received packet's timing. Next, the preamble is followed by 1-byte uh, start frame delimiter, or SFD as we mentioned earlier, field, a flag which signals the beginning of the Ethernet frame. Indeed, the last two bits of the SFD is 1 1 instead of 1 0 to break thus the preamble bit pattern and signal the beginning of the Ethernet frame where the first field is the destination address. Now, the Ethernet packet format continues then with the layer 2 Ethernet frame, which consists of MAC header, MAC payload, and MAC footer. As mentioned in the beginning, in one of our previous videos, we have already seen these fields, therefore, I will skip these fields in this video. Which brings us to the last part that we have not tackled so far, which is the interpacket gap or IPG. The interpacket gap is the idle time between subsequent Ethernet packets. Indeed, a brief recovery time between subsequent packets allows terminals to prepare for reception of the next packet. Towards this aim, an Ethernet-based transmitting node must transmit a minimum of 12 bytes or 96 bits of idle pattern signal between two subsequent packets. This idle time is measured from the end of the FCS field of the last received frame to the beginning of the preamble of the next frame. And that's all folks on Ethernet frame format. 